Hi, I'm Cindy Cloward with Riley Blake Designs and welcome back to our RVD Building Block Series. Today we're working on this block and it's called Friendly Geese. I love how these flying geese make this circular pattern that even makes a square with inside the block. The first thing you need to do is download the pattern from our Riley Blake Design website. Where again, we're working on the friendly geese pattern. It gives you all the cutting instructions. So cut out all your pieces. Mine are already cut out. And we're gonna be making a lot of flying geese at once. This is a really fun and easy technique. So you get your two large squares. We'll put those to the side. Grab your A squares and just mark them corner to corner, finding the back side. There we go. Okay, these are all marked. Let's take it to our pressing station. I'm gonna show you how to lay this out before we sew. Okay, for each of these blocks, we're gonna lay this on one corner and then the opposite corner diagonally, we're gonna line this up like that. And you're gonna line your marked line right in the middle corner to corner. I do give it a quick press to make a temporary adhesive. Now this is not going to be your sew line, this is going to be your guide and you're going to sew a fourth inch on each side of the line. Let's bring it over here, clip it. And now we're gonna take it to our cutting station and cut down that center march line. Okay, let's take it back to our pressing station. Now we're gonna flip these up like that. This is what it's gonna look like. So let's just press it open. I'm gonna get the longer clapper there. Okay, while those are cooling off, you can pull these out. Give it a quick press. And this marked line is your guide and you're gonna sew a fourth inch on each side.
Okay, we can bring it over here, clip our threads in between. That mark line is now our cut line. All right, we have just made eight flying geese units all at one time. Let's give them a good press and then we'll square them up. Okay, let's bring all those units over here. Get my small rotating mat. And I just grab up this is a trim it or square up ruler, six and a half inches. And these are more rectangle, they're not square, but I use this because you can still measure it out. What I like about this is you line the center part up. So there's the tip. And you wanna make sure you've got a fourth inch from the tip to the edge of your fabric. So you don't wanna cut into that, otherwise when you you're sewing your blocks together, then that tip of that flying geese is cut off. And that's not the desired effect. So we want to make sure the tip is below that blue line. And this should be three and a half inches by six and a half inches. So if we can line that up. There's three and a half. Just trimming off those dog ears and we're going to just do one unit at a time. So they're all trimmed out and they're measuring the same size. Okay, last little flying geese is finished. Again, notice you want that tip of your flying geese, fourth inch from the edge of the fabric. Okay, let's start assembling our quilt block. Laying out our flying geese. And they're making this pattern going all the way around. Yeah, that's right. Check your pattern. Because they, they are flying in a circle. And at the end, just make sure when you have everything laid out that you have this square in the center and then you know you've done it right. So now you're going to do um, these units a section at a time. So let's do the four sections at a time. You can just bring it over here. And so you don't confuse yourself. I really do just work on one of these units at a time. And when I sew this, the flying geese portion, so that's flipped over, I actually flip it over like this so I can see, make sure I don't sew into the tip of this flying geese top. So flip it over and whatever um, seam you're making, just be mindful that you're not sewing into the threads of that point at top. Okay, open it up. That's what I wanna see, that my point is right there in the center. I'm gonna give it a press. Okay, I'm gonna bring it back, looking at the pattern. Let's see, that's correct. See that point right there, looks good. Now let's make sure we have it going the right way. Okay, now it's time to sew these four units together. 
We're going to just flip those over like that. We can chain piece these. But what you want to do is make sure that the side of this one flying geese is lined up with the center or the point of the other flying geese. So I line those up. There is going to be some bulk at that intersection, but just ease your machine over it. That's going to be fine. Let's open these up. I don't know if those are going the right way, so I'm going to clip in the center. Let's see. So it's going to go that way. It's going to go that way. Okay. Let me press this open. Okay, so let's bring it back. And before you do your last seam, lay them out, make sure they're following the pattern. And again, a good check is to make sure you have the square in the center. And see how those are lined up here. You want to do the same thing here. Line the point of this to the bottom corner of this flying geese. Same here. So flip that over. We're going to line that up first. Oh, I need my glasses for that. Line up those points. Again, it's going to be a little bulky at this intersection. Just give it a good pin and just ease your machine over that bulk. All right, let's just square this up, making sure it's the correct size. Again, it's 12 and a half inches unfinished, 12 inches finished, and line it up. What you want to make sure is your points of your flying geese are inside this blue line so they won't get cut off when you're assembling the blocks together in a quilt. It looks good. I think there's just a few threads on the outside here. And the friendly geese block is finished. Join us next time when we work on the broken wheel block.